How's it going, everyone? It is Andre Williams, and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about SoFi, which was up 3% on the day. It continues to show strength in the market. We had the market picking up towards the end of the day as well. You know what? We'll talk about it for another video. I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder, you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to go over is a technical analysis. We're going to be taking a look at the overall price action. We want to know support. We want to know resistance. We want to know what it looks like in the bearish case scenario and as well as in the bullish case scenario. And then we're going to be going on Fintel, taking a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information. The reason why this is important because it does have an impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know the buying and the selling behavior on the retail side and as well as on the institutional side. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a technical analysis for SoFi. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $5.66, being up 3.10%. On the low, it tested $5.05 and then on the high, testing $5.00 and 79 cents when we take a look at the volume stats on the day you can see we traded at 65.513 million shares and the average volume over 10 trading days is at 59.354 million shares so we had above average volume on the day and it's part of the reasons why we've seen some strength in the stock now when we take a look at our chart which is a daily chart you can see from the rsi down below it is at 35.99 and then when we take a look at our moving averages here on the chart we are below the 200 day the 100 day, the 50 day, and as well as the 21 day EMA. And it's clear to see that SoFi is in a bear market trading below all of our major moving averages. But as of late, SoFi has been showing a lot of strength. We have been forming higher lows for the past two trading days. We ended up seeing a high at $5.79. So going into tomorrow, if we see some strength in these markets, I want to see if SoFi can make that move getting to $6. And then we have the 21 day EMA, which is at $6.00 and 61 cents so those are some levels you're going to want to keep a very close eye on because if we can close on friday above six bucks i think that'd be a good look for sofi going into next week now if we have some consolidation or maybe we have a slight pullback I want to see another higher low. So what would that look like? Staying above 505. So maybe we could try to hold support around 520. So if we could hold support at 520 and then we can go into next week to try to make that test above six. Again, things do continue to look good. So let's see how these potential scenarios play out. Let's move on to the short interest information. So we're going to take a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information for SoFi. So scrolling down on the page, green rows indicate new positions while red rows indicate closed positions. So we're going to take a look at the recent filings for the 12th. So we have Wood Mount Investment Council LLC that purchased 27,122 shares and we have Banco BTG Pactual that purchased woo, just under 2 million shares, 1.95 million shares to be exact. And we have a closed position here from Laidlaw and we have HST Ventures LLC that purchased 71,274 shares and we have jump financial llc that purchased 432,183 shares and we have pangora asset management inc that purchased 46,074 shares so institutions loading up now when we take a look at the short interest the off exchange short volume ratios at 42.15 percent and then for the off exchange short volume it is just over 15.47 million shares scrolling down on the page the short shares availability is at 2.7 million updated 28 minutes ago and then for the short borrow fee rate it is at 5.17 percent when we take a look at the history of the short volume we can see for the close of the 10th it is at 50.33 and then for the close of the 11th being at 42.15 so we do see a significant decrease right there and when we take a look at the short interest percentage of the float SoFi does continue to have short squeeze potential since it's at 19.87 percent now now let's move on to the order flow distribution. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for SoFi. So we see on the inflow it's at 61.51 million and then on the outflow it's at 73.04 million. So we had an outflow day. Taking a look at the 
the breakdown. On the large, it was 0.56 million. On the medium, it was 40.93 million. And then on the small, it was 20.02 million. Taking a look at the outflow side, you can see on the large, it was 0 0.60 million. On the medium, it was 53.36 million. And then on the small, it was 19.08 million. Taking a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you can see for today, May the 12th, we had that outflow of negative 0.04 million. Analyzing the numbers even further for the small scale orders that tends to represent the retail side, we had more buying than we had selling. And then when we take a look at what happened on the medium, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at the large represents whales, institutions, and funds, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at the turnover ratio, it was at 7.18%. So yes, this is a high range for so far, but we also have to understand it comes with a lot of volatility and it has been seeing a lot more volume as well. But for the most part, it has been holding up. We'll talk about it further in the final thoughts. So let's get into it right now. So for my final thoughts for SoFi, before we start talking about the price action, let's go over some more price target changes we've been having. So we have here, the first one is Goldman Sachs. So we have Goldman Sachs that cut their price target to $9.00 from $10, so that's not too bad, still shows a good amount of upside. And then when we take a look at Citigroup, they ended up changing their price target to $11. Previously, they had it at $17. So this is definitely some great news for SoFi, I must say. And it's part of the reasons why we are continuing to see strength in this stock. And if you are gonna be holding this play all the way till the end of the year, that's why I'm saying these particular price targets is what to be expected. But do not just base your investment decisions on analysts. They are always making changes. They are adjusting to the conditions we have in the market. So that's why I always emphasize doing your research. Now let's talk about the price action. I know many of you are looking forward to that. So as far as for the low of the day, we ended up testing at $5.05 and then we saw a high at $5.79. So what I want to see from SoFi, I want to see a test going to the $6 level. If we could break above $5.80, then I'm looking for that move going straight straight to six. And if we can move up further from there, or even if we could just close Friday above $6 or right at $6, I wouldn't mind that. I think that would set us up very well going into next week. But I know there's many people that are saying, you know what, in the market, this is just a dead cat bounce. The market is still weak and there's more room for a lot of stocks to go down. So if that's going to be the case. Let me give you what it looks like on the downside. So if we do decide to have a strong pullback, of course, you want to see support holding up at the low of the day of 505. Breaking through this level, we've already seen the $4 range already. We've seen that there's some strength around the 480s and as well as for around 468. But another thing to be aware of when taking a look at those technicals, we have been forming higher lows and higher highs for the past two trading days. So that is one thing you're going to want to add to your homework as well if you are deciding to trade it. Also, we went on Fintel taking a look at the recent institutional ownership. We could see that institutions are continuing to load up on shares. So that is definitely some great news for my investors. And then when we take a look at the short interest information, it does continue to have short squeeze potential. There's still many shorts who are inside of this play, but you know what? That is perfectly fine because we know when the market decides to start picking itself back up, SoFi is going to run with it. And even when the market wasn't doing too well, we know that SoFi was still showing some strength. Again, there's a lot to look forward to here. So make sure you have a strategy if you're going to be trading it. And if you are an investor, you have to have high conviction. Do your research so you can have the confidence like I do in this company for the long term. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see how the stock performs going into tomorrow. We'll talk soon.